It must be bedtime soon. So, but you, if you don't call the police, no that's way. a bit rude, mate. He's twat. I mean, come on now. You're a twat too. <laughs> what? Because I called the police. I'm a snitch. <laughs> do you have a problem with the police? No, I don't, mate. Do you? Right then. Well, of course not. That's why I called them. Because I'm told they've been here all day and then they've gone home. I didn't say anything. Oh, they are. They're, ma they're made for you as well. So, when your house is burgled, who will you call? Who will you call when your house is burgled? Oh, 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 you oh, 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 believe that, do you? Come on, you can't not believe that, mate. I'm talking about all of you. Uh, you can't not believe that, though. John, why are you touching me? Uh, he touched you. His he two hands are full. How could he have touched you? You believe in you your horse? You think I'm brainless yeah? like you? Oh, you believe in your horse, yeah? yeah? In what? Your horse. I don't know what you that said, even you means. Said, you said last week, didn't you? You believe in your horse or your horse? That wasn't you said, me. That wasn't me. So what do you believe in? I'm an atheist. I believe in sex, drugs, and rock and roll. What do you believe? So you're, uh, you're undercover. I'm an undercover sex, drugs, and rock and roll. You don't want to be on camera. All oh, direct your cameras on there. You know, you said that all the profit there. You know, I think you confused me with someone else. I'm an atheist. I would never be talking about. And then obviously, when he was like, I'm an atheist. Do you know what that means? I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. What was going on? Just a little bit kicked off. If you don't mind mass, giving my viewers a mass fight over there, they all ran away over there. Okay, okay, very good to see you. Yeah, how about how are you? You okay? Because I couldn't see you. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Sorry. You're going up my bed. Did you yeah. see what happened? Well, it was just a big fight that broke out over here. Oh, and, and then they all... <laughs> we were. And then they all came running over here. They all went out there. Some of the convicts were coming outside. Oh, no, no. Did you see what's happening? Yeah, some kid got punched and then um, the what guy happened? ran off. A kid? Some kid got punched. You know, they, uh, no, no, it was two young people yeah, oh, yeah. arguing amongst them. Then some guy punched him in the back of the head and then everyone started breaking up and then all of a sudden the other two, like his friends, got involved and then they yeah. started swinging punches and then one guy punched him and then just ran off and then everyone started chasing after oh. him. Wait, okay. and you witnessed this yourself. Yeah. And um, what, what were they debating about just earlier? I'll be honest, it was that little woman arguing, talking about the prophet and all of this, swearing in their own language. I don't know. Um, so we're at Speaker's Corner, Hyde Park, home of free speech, debates, discussions on everything. <coughs> it's been very tense today. We've had a big police presence most of the day. So the police have been regularly stepping in, calming things down. I'm pretty sure if the police hadn't been there today, we would have had a lot of violence a lot earlier. Anyway, unfortunately, the police invariably disappear off at 6, 7 p.m., as they did today. And now a mass fight broke out in the middle of Speaker's Corner. Um, they all then started running out to continue it outside the gate. I called the police because there was no, there was no visible police presence. The police eventually turned up. Um, and hopefully that's the end of it today. But unfortunately, just a lot of idiots come into Speaker's Corner who can't handle free speech, who get violent when they hear things that they don't like, and start punching, and start fighting. Yeah. 
What do you think should be done to stop all of this? Well, the police need to not disappear at six o'clock, for starters, because invariably when the fights break out, it is five, six, seven o'clock. So they need to stay around. And then they need to start issuing banning orders to people at Speaker's Corner. But unfortunately, many of these troublemakers, they're kind of new people. They've, they're not regulars. Yeah. Um, but as the police were doing earlier today, they just need to be more zero tolerant to, to aggression and violence and deal with it much more quickly, which, as I say, they've done today quite well. I was quite impressed with them today. Because we just have to give the strong message that that sort of violence won't be tolerated. Yeah. Anywhere. Well, last week we saw a reduced uh, presence of the police. Uh, well, I think... Because there was quite a few yeah, fights last, I mean, last week. week yeah. So I assume that's why we had a greater police presence yeah, here yeah. this week, as, was, as a uh, reaction to the fights last week. But they go too early. Right. They, they go home, go back to the office too early. Who do you think is responsible for this? Who's responsible for it? Well, for the thugs that are starting the fights. Or preventing them, or not preventing them. Oh, oh I see yeah. what you mean. Um, well, is it more higher up in the Met? So oh, moving no, towards yeah, no, it'll be Mark Rowley, it'll be the senior possibly the mayor. Of, it'll be the management, yeah. the upper echelons of the, of the management yeah. of the... Metropolitan Police Service, which is still, as I think I pointed out to you before, is still under special measures. Yeah. The Metropolitan Police Service, the police service for our capital city, is under special measures because of incompetence. Yeah. Um, so that's not doesn't inspire much confidence, does sure. it? The fact that the whole service mm. is under special measures. Sure. Um, but again, you know, whether it's the Palestinian marches, whether it's Speaker's Corner, it's yeah. handling certain people with kid gloves yeah. that gives them more um, confidence yeah. to misbehave as they misbehave. Do you know what the debate was about? No, I don't. No, I don't. Yeah. But it's probably my God's better than your God. And that was yeah. probably the level of the argument that I'm starting. Right. It's invariably that sort of thing. It will be on some petty, religiously based argument point, I'm sure. I'm sure. Thank you so much. Thank you.